Hey everybody, I am outside of Oasis. It is a Sunday night. Deviant Playground is the theme. It is very kink friendly. I just smoked a very big joint and uh, I'm ready to go inside. I've got a flogger with me that is brand new that I got for myself. It is blue. I will show a clip on the screen. And uh, I also brought my strap on in my, you know, sex and swinging, return unicorn, normalizing sex one podcast at a time backpack. I'm wearing it proudly, mostly because I'm stoned and I forgot about it, but whatever it takes to trailblaze. I'm your girl, going inside. All right, it is 1.15 in the morning. I meant to leave an hour ago, but it was such a good social night, I stayed. My goodness, this fucking club was busy tonight. The pool has been busier than I've seen it in a long time. It was full of a lot of single people interacting. There was no need for me to be a social butterfly tonight and help people get engaged and talk in the pool because they were already doing it, which is wonderful. Now, my friends were here. Uh, Amber, R, and Amelia, and they all had a fantastic night, including Curly Vixen, and if you caught my podcast this week, she was the interviewee. I got to see her tonight, too, and uh, they all shared the same man, except for Amber. She had her own guy. Otherwise, it was R, Amelia, and Curly Vixen all took turns with a certain gentleman that they're all familiar with who makes them feel very good and has a lot of I don't know, bullets in the chamber for lack of a better word in a sex club, <laughs> meaning he can have sex a lot. So I got to see a little bit of it. It was really fun. I brought my flogger and my strap on. We did not need it. Uh, I had a great social night, honestly. I'm going home now. Uh, happy girl. I didn't have sex. I didn't want to have sex. I did meet some three guys outside the club who were on their way in and looked like completely mind fucked. And they were like, hey, can we ask you questions about the club? And uh, I gave them a little bit of coaching on the outside of the door. And then eventually they did come in and I gave them a little bit of a tour to the place and things. But uh, it goes to show they were outside the club and they literally were like, they weren't sure if they could go in. So it's not easy. It's not easy to come jumping outside your comfort zone and taking a chance. But I guarantee those three guys, whether they fucked or not tonight, had a good night. So thanks for coming with me. Bye.